Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I know I'm not the only one here. I look back at my driver's ID picture, passport photo, student pictures, whatever it is, and honestly, I am appalled. I actually booked a trip to Aruba coming up in a couple weeks, which I'm so excited for. I need a break so bad. I'm just excited to dig my toes in the sand and just ground myself and be balanced again. So this time around, I decided I want to do things different, especially if it's going to be on a passport for the next 10 years. So today's video is exactly geared towards avoiding a situation like that again. And I will be teaching you guys how I do my makeup for ID pictures here on forward. So without further ado, if you want to learn how you can also catfish people on your document, please keep on watching. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie guys, I just came back from Sephora. I usually go every other week to try out new products and restock some of my faves. And one of the things that I haven't tried that I heard great things about was the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. So it comes in a little tube like this. It's very easy to use. And I'll just take one pump and use this to prime my skin. Okay, so already I'm noticing that it has a creamy consistency, which to be honest, I'm not a fan of when it comes to primers. I like something more buttery on my skin because it's very dry in the winter time. So I'm just gonna have to toss this to one of my friends that may like it. Another new product that I purchased was the Milk Makeup Luminous Blur Stick. Now this I tried in the store and it is unreal. And honestly, one of my major issues is the fact that I have enlarged pores. So if this product really works on me, it's going to be my new favorite. So I'm putting it all over my face. And with my fingers, I'm just going to massage the product in and make sure that it gets deep in there and hopefully covers up these big pores. I can already tell that it's become like a smooth terrain. And when I look up close, I can almost see that the pores are really gone. So the only thing that would concern me about this product is breakouts because if you're filling in your pores, it may cause breakouts. So I'm just going to have to try it out for the rest of the week and see how it does. But as far as results, it definitely covered what I needed and it even gave me some golden reflex. I know last time I mentioned that the Narcissistic Foundation was one of my all-time favorites, but when I went into Sephora, I asked one of the girls what her favorite stick foundation was, and she directed me to the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation, which is a 100% vegan product. And when I tried it in the store, I was really impressed at the coverage. Far so good. I really like how blendable it is, although it is highly pigmented, it doesn't really blend out chalky like some other highly pigmented foundations that I've tried in the past. And she's a keeper. To go with my new Tarte foundation, I also got the Creaseless Concealer. What sold me on this new concealer, besides the fact that it has a great formula, was this applicator. It makes it so much easier to use instead of dipping your brush into the paint pot of a concealer and just creating more of a mess than what it has to be. So I'm just gonna apply it in the same direction that I did last time. Besides the fact that it's free, I like to blend in my concealer with my ring finger because it's light pressure and you don't have to worry about causing wrinkles and tugging at your skin. So it's a little tip that my grandmother gave me since I was little. She always said, be gentle with your skin and yourself. Then whenever I need an extra hand, I just take my brush and buff it all in, make sure it's nice and melted into my skin. Another little tip that I didn't mention last video is that if you put a little bit of concealer at the bottom base of your nose, and then add on that shaded part right here, it will create a tinier nose, which we all love. So try it out for yourself and let me know what you think. Now that I look like an egg or a big glob of foundation, I'm going to be setting it with a Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. So I'm just gonna swoosh it around. 
It's honestly so much fun. I feel like I'm about to apply my foundation with a little baby chicken. <laughs> It feels like I'm patting my face with cotton candy. <laughs> Don't mind if I look like I have dirt on my face because obviously this loose powder is setting and it's creating a cakiness effect, but I'm gonna brush it off when I'm all done. Guys, I'm just gonna fast forward this part. If you want a more detailed video on how to do eyebrows, comment below and let me know. Now, I'm not a fan of a cat eye with a black thick liner. I like more of a smoky look when I do that myself. So you're gonna see what I mean by that right now. I'm going to be using the Shade and Light palette. I'm sorry for the disappearance of all the writing. I've obviously owned this palette for far too long, but it is one of my faves. So what I do is I take the edge of pretty much anything. For today, it's going to be the edge of my eyelash. So I'm just going to place it right here, right underneath my lower lash line as well because the cat eye that I want to create is going to go from the top connecting to the bottom. So with a soft angled brush, I'm just going to go in and shade it in. Then without letting this go, I'm just gonna blend out that black shadow and make it a little bit more smoked out. Okay, now I'm just gonna fill in whatever is left on my brush to my lid. Now that I'm done with all that dark shadow, in case there was any fallout, I'm just going to swoosh this away and make sure all that translucent powder is nice and dispersed amongst my face. I'm gonna use the B to start my lip, I'm gonna use the BSN lip liner in color red. And let's just go ahead and line them. Next, I'm gonna be applying the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in color Bel Air. And this is just like a peachy neutral color. And honestly, I've been really into the Ofra Liquid Lipsticks lately because they go on so effortless, like butter. And when you are dealing with liquid lipsticks that dry matte, usually it dries out your lips. But with this one, I don't feel that it does. It's actually pretty moisturizing. So let me know if you know of any other brands that have great formulas like this. Whenever I do a nude lip, I like to make sure that the liner is still peeking out a little bit. I think it looks so pretty. Right. To contour and blush, I'm gonna be using the Lancome Belle de Taint Bronzer Blush. So I did drop it, which you just is so heartbreaking every time that happens to one of my palettes, but we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna take an there. angled fluffy brush like this and the lighter side up top, we're just gonna rub with the angled part and start contouring my nose. And then right above where my nostrils are, I like to shade in and it gives the appearance that my nose is a lot shorter. Then I just form vertical lines going right above. Almost like an arrow pointing down, I guess. I just like to squeeze my brush and then make sure that I'm only getting the bronze part, which is right up here and swipe that on. With this fluffy brush, I'm just gonna make sure that my contour is all blended out on my nose. With my big powder brush, I'm just gonna make sure that I don't look like a geometry puzzle or something. And it's all blended in. Oh my God, so now to the most exciting product that I purchased, the Becca, Chloe, and Malika collaboration of blush and bronzers. Ugh, 
I'm freaking dying here. Look how gorgeous these colors are. They're perfect for lighter tones, medium tones like me, darker girls. Okay, so for today, I think I'm gonna go with this pretty pink right down here and use this as my blush. Honestly, it was about damn time that Chloe included Malika in something because we always see her around, but she didn't seem to get a lot of business play. And now, good for her. She deserves it. She's been one of those ride or die friends. For my inner tear duct, I'm gonna be using the Surf and Sand Bobbi Brown palette. With that same color, I'm just gonna pop this on right at the tip of my nose and just halfway through my nose. I hate seeing a super shiny nose throughout. It actually makes your nose look longer when you do that. So I just like to pop it on right in between the eyes basically and the tip. I'm gonna individually apply some lashes and then come back to show you guys the finished product. I'm going to just put on some mascara on the bottom and a little bit on the top. Another one of my well-kept secrets is the NARS Velvet Shadow Stick. And this one is in color Eagle Noir, which is like a shimmery light charcoal, I would describe as. Before I found out about this product, I had such a hard time whenever I would put eyeliner in my waterline maybe like an hour two hours later it would be completely gone but with this one it is just unreal it stays throughout the entire day not only that but if you have sensitive eyes like i do um, a lot of products irritate my eyes and you'll see my eyes get red right away so this is pretty much bulletproof for me And also I like to apply it in the inner waterline up here. So I just hold on to my brow and lift the skin and apply it right there. Same thing with this side. Also I like to apply it right in here in the waterline. Then you can just take an angled brush and smoke it in a little bit. So guys, don't judge, but this is a close-up look of the last picture that I took for my passport back in 2007. So I was definitely due for a new one. Can we talk about these bangs? I don't know what I was thinking, but bangs are not a good look for me. So I'm excited to see the glow up on this next passport picture. This is the final look on a smoky, sexy cat eye. I know a few of you requested that I do a makeup tutorial on a smoky shadow. So this can really double for a party look or event look, wherever you're going. But I just know for myself, when I look back at these pictures 10 years from now, I won't be so regretful. So it is a timeless look and it's so sultry and pretty and sexy. You can even wear it for Valentine's Day. So if you love the tutorial and are thinking about trying it on yourself, don't forget to like and subscribe, support your girl.